What's up guys, Shinzo here. So today I'm making some custom picture frames using these inexpensive wooden blocks that I picked up at Walmart. Some other supplies that I'll be using for this project include spray paint, house paint, some old brushes, art resin or a similar clear epoxy resin, some clear cups with measurement labels on the side, latex gloves, and you'll also need some sandpaper as well. I use 60 grit for this one. And you'll also want to pick up some glue sticks and maybe print out some photographs. So I started off by painting the wooden blocks with Rust-Oleum Nutmeg Spray Paint. Then I used an old brush to apply a rough, thin layer of turquoise house paint. I'm using an old brush that's kind of stiff and worn from being used so much. And the stiff bristles make it easier to apply this coat in a streaky, worn kind of weather pattern. And after the first layer dried, I just repeated the same process with white house paint. Also, I didn't bother painting the center of the frames because that's where I'll be placing the photographs. Once both layers were dried, I added the final touch of distress by removing some of the paint with 60 grit sandpaper. Next, I centered my photographs on the frames and used roll-on glue sticks to attach them. Then I laid some heavy books on top of them to make sure they were nice and secure. Alright guys, so I've let these dry overnight. I'm just going to remove the books and uh, I'm going to have a quick look at these and make sure everything's good to go. And then we're going to uh, get ready to lay a clear coat of epoxy resin over the top. Then I took some time to line my work area with plastic bags because working with resin can get kind of messy. Alright guys, so here's a look at everything you'll need to uh, complete the clear coat resin part of this project. First off, you'll need um, some art resin or some similar clear epoxy resin. For the art resin, we use um, equal parts resin and equal parts hardener. You'll also need a container to mix those in. And I would recommend using containers with uh, markings like this so you can get your amounts precise. And uh, you'll probably need some small containers to mix them separately, or to pour them separately I should say, and then a bigger container to mix them and of course something to stir them with. You'll probably want to use some gloves. A mask isn't required, but um, I would recommend it, especially uh, once we start heating the resin. you also want a level, and I use these small cups to um, lay the artwork flat over the top of these. And then you want everything nice and level so that the resin doesn't pull on one side. And then also you're going to need um, something to spread the resin around with. I always just use some scrap cardboard that I have laying around. So yeah, that should do it guys. That's the whole setup. Oh, also you'll need a flame source because once you pour the resin it tends to get air bubbles and if you let it cure with those bubbles still present they'll show up once it's finished curing so you definitely want to use a little torch of some kind to get all those bubbles out and get a nice smooth surface before it cures so that's the whole setup guys we'll jump into this here in a bit and uh yeah let's do this so mixing and pouring resin isn't as intimidating as it might seem at first the main thing to keep in mind is you want your pieces to be perfectly leveled before you pour and you also want to prevent any dust or contaminants or even air bubbles from ruining your clear coat. If you want a more detailed look at the art resin process, I'll link you to one of my previous videos.
So after curing for 24 hours, this is how the custom photo frames turned out. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, share, and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.